Welcome to this lesson on circle segments and circle lines. I'm going to be using this graphic organizer to show you some of the different theorems for segments and lines inside a circle. And if you want to grab this for free, you can check out the description of this video for the link and you can print it off. So let's go ahead and get started. The first theorem is two tangents. When you have two tangent segments that come to the same external point, then the two lengths are equal. So the formula is the tangent equals the tangent. So if you have expressions that represent the lengths of those tangent segments, you can set them equal to each other. It doesn't matter which one you write first. And then you can solve the equation for x. So I'm going to subtract x from both sides. Subtract 1 from both sides, so x equals 9. And then if you want to find the actual lengths of the segments, you can substitute 9 in for x. So let's see, 2 times 9 plus 1, that would be 18 plus 1, which is 19. And this one has to be the same because they're equal, so they're both 19. All right, the next one is when a tangent and a radius or a diameter meet, they're going to be perpendicular. So here is a tangent segment, here is a radius, they're perpendicular, which means they form a right angle. So in this example, I have a right triangle, so I can use the Pythagorean theorem to solve for the length of the radius. So a squared plus b squared equals c squared. 10 would be my hypotenuse because it's the longest side. So I'm going to make that my c. x and 8 are a and b. All right, let me square these. Then I'm going to subtract 64 from both sides. So that would be x squared equals 36. And then take the square root, so x equals 6. So my radius is 6 for the circle. All right, and the next one is two secants. So I have two secant segments. And if I want to find a piece of one of those, I can use the formula whole times outside equals whole times outside. And whole means the length of the whole segment. So I'm going to start with the top segment. And the length of this whole segment is 10. And outside means the piece that's outside the circle, so that would be 3. And then for the bottom, the length of the whole segment would be x plus 2. And then the outside piece is 2. All right, so on the left, I'm going to multiply. 10 times 3 is 30. On the right, I need to distribute that 2. So 2 times x is 2x. 2 times 2 is 4. And then I can just solve it like a normal two-step equation. So I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides. And then divide by 2. So x equals 13. So the length of this piece is 13. All right, the next one is when you have a secant and a tangent segment. So this is my secant segment. This is my tangent segment. And the theorem says whole times whole equals whole times outside. And whole times whole refers to the tangent. Because the tangent won't be broken down into pieces. It'll just be one piece. So you just multiply the length by itself, x times x. And then for the secant, the whole is 10. The length of the whole segment is 10, 4 plus 6. And then the outside piece is 4. All right, so x times x is x squared. 10 times 4 is 40. I'm going to take the square root of both sides. And I'm going to round to the tenths place, so 6.3. The last theorem is when you have two chords. And the theorem says a piece times piece equals a piece times piece. The only thing you need to make sure you do on this theorem is make sure that you match pieces that are on the same chord. So I want to match x and 2 and multiply those together. 
and then three and four. All right, so x times two is two x. Three times four is 12. Divide by two on both sides, so x equals six. All right, those are the theorems for lines and segments inside a circle. If you want more geometry resources, you can check out geometrysquad.com.